Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Mike Powers. Let's start with Kristen Van Dyke and that forecast. Kristen. Uh, good afternoon. We're starting off with some snow showers this afternoon, uh, left over from a winter storm system that brought a lot of snow across Colorado and the northern mountains over the weekend. It is going to pull away to the north and east, so expect a lot of this activity to diminish. But it is going to stay quite windy across the entire state, especially east of the central mountain chain. A lot of us looking at winds gusting between 40 and 50 miles per hour this afternoon, so be careful if you're out on the roads. Uh, as far as the forecast goes, for the next seven days, we'll see dry conditions for the metro area with temperatures near 50 degrees in the afternoons and down into the 20s at night. Thanksgiving looking quite chilly with highs in the mid-40s, then down into the teens and 20s as we head into the weekend. A guard at the San Juan County Detention Center is on the other side of the law this afternoon. Investigators arrested Leroy Garcia early this morning after they say he admitted to having sexual contact with a female inmate. The alleged victim told authorities the incident happened in the medical unit of the jail. She claims Garcia would offer her things so she wouldn't tell. Garcia is now in the detention center on charges including criminal sexual contact. The owners of a business that has called Boleyn home for 60 years are in trouble with the law. Ed and Robert Augie of Augie Sales and Service are charged with numerous counts, including embezzlement and racketeering. Prosecutors say the brothers were misusing pension funds. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.